everyone, and welcome to day 19 of season one here on Consolidude. We have officially entered week four of six. Congratulations, Grimace. Good job on making it this far. You're just short of a thousand tier points on your 1300 quest, which means you're very close and rapidly closing up this tier. Today, you have the opportunity to rack up a couple hundred more tier points and then some. And if all goes well, who knows? Maybe you could take some spins on the wheel using those saved up consolers you have to go for some extra tier points and possibly finish this tier off for good. Either way, by the end of tomorrow, it's very likely you will have probably wrapped up this tier. So that being said, let's move forward on the challenges for today and get you even closer to that 1300 tier point goal. Today is a single gamer, sort of. I'll explain it in a second, but today is the kind of day where we feature one game and one game in particular for the majority of the day. This of course means that the I win button and other perks on the power up menu that refer to lowering difficulty of single challenges will not apply for this one particular game. However, there are some power ups that you still have available to you in addition to some coupons you've earned along the way that unlock some of these power ups for free. So keep that in mind and let's talk about today's game. Today's challenge represents the pinnacle of PlayStation VR. It is the best gameplay experience the console currently probably has for VR. I'm talking about the one, the only, Resident Evil 7. Now, before you ask, it's not that this game is scary. I mean, it has jump scares that come out at you, it has some creepy moments, but the reason this game is so immersive is because it heightens all of your senses. It, it's a taxing game. I mean, you're not just looking with your eyes. You're listening and you're moving around as you play. I mean, you're just tense while you play this game. It is a lot to put on somebody. It's a very difficult game to go through because of this. Uh, I don't think out of any of the games I've played on PlayStation VR, there's been a game where when I take off that helmet and come up for air, it's like, wow, you know, like, oh my God, I need a breather. And it's because of this that I'm saying it's the only game of today with an asterisk because if there are moments where you reach certain milestones and you want to take a break from this game, we will toss out simple Atari games and maybe even a Dreamcast game on the fly as intermission games that you can take a break to use on. This game is not going to be easy. It's going to be taxing, it's going to be difficult, but it is also the number one game in the PlayStation VR that people want to see you try to attempt. So take your time with it, pace yourself. Don't hit this one hard. Don't rage tilt when you fight a boss that's gonna hand you your ass a few times. Just, just ease into it, take your time, relax, play through this and understand that this game is difficult. This is gonna be one of the most difficult challenges you've had. And because of that, we're going to make it rewarding. This game is sort of broken up into chapters, which pretty much represent levels throughout the game. For every one of these chapters you're able to complete, you're going to earn 25 tier points. In addition to that, you're going to earn prizes scaling upwards as you go as well. In addition to earning bigger and bigger prizes for the chat as you go. Which means, even if you're only able to make it through a few chapters of this game today, if you give it your solid effort, you can still rack up 100 plus tier points from this one game alone. That's in addition to the intermission games you'll also get on the the way. So remember, take it easy on this one. Relax, breathe, take the helmet off every 20, 30 minutes. Talk to chat a little bit, you know, get some tips and hints out of it. Go into this with an easy laid back attitude. Don't hit it hard. Don't go nuts in this. And the game won't take that much back from you. But if you go into this in full aggro mode, trying to just breeze through it as quickly as possible, it's going to wipe you out. This game will win. So keep that in mind. That's pretty much it for today. Resident Evil 7. That's your one game on the plate. Good luck, Zach. Take these levels one level at a time. And remember, if you've played it for a couple hours and you want to take a break, we will throw you some quickie easy mode games in between as intermissions to get you some slack and some fresh air. So enjoy yourself, have fun with this. Try not to rage too, too hard. Chat, have mercy on him. He's about to go into the most difficult, immersive VR experience PlayStation currently has to offer. We're ready for you to begin whenever you'd like, Zach. Good luck, you're going to need it.